It's your host, Captain Jeff Goat, and we're inside Tartarus, this maximum prison place of doom. And um, yeah, we gotta we gotta bust out our buddy here. But before we do, if I could please get you guys to like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications, and spread the word to show your support for the series in the channel, it'd be greatly appreciated. But guys, we're here, and we're going to kick some booty. But first, let's uh, break that down. Break that down. Break that down. And I want to equip... Hmm. Let's equip the heavy. There we go. Nice, 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 nice. Alright. Let's go, go, go. what the board wants. Every worker in Halcyon stuffed into one of those chambers. Kill them all! <clears throat> Whew! That was quick. Yeah, you tell them, Felix. I love my crew. Die! Ooh, what's that? Oh, sorry! Die! I know! Kill him! Woo! God, you... Yeah, you... Okay, you killed him. You... You definitely killed that man. He's like in pieces now. Oh my god, I almost feel bad. Alright, uh... Let's just... Keep going, I guess, huh? Yeah. Should we kill? Kill him! Just because you never know. This <laughs> poor man. He was just doing his job. Didn't even know what was going on. He's probably deaf. And we killed him. But, you know, we, we gotta do it. We got to. Alright. Hello, soldiers. Sorry. Take that. Kill them all. Woo! Go along for field. Yeah! Woo! Oh crap! Woo! Look out. Running away! Oh, oh, oh. Shoot him! Shoot him! Yeah, right in his face hole! Oh god. Oh. Yes! I am all right. Thank goodness. Except for this man. That man is definitely not. Take all their stuff. Oh my goodness. Big battles. Big old battles. Got a lot of loot. Yeah, they, they picked the wrong day. Kill him. I leveled up. Alright, let's, uh... Oh, it's about time you wake up. Okay, um... Hack. Medical. Science. There we go. And let's go. Hello, sir. Oh god, there's so many of them! Woo! I 
I love this place. So much loot. It's like loot for endless day. Endless days. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I love how they just leave all this loot for me. Dun, 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 dun. What the hell is all this? Ooh. Eh. Eh. Okay, that was weird. Dun, dun, dun. Kill him! Covering you! Oh. What? Woo! That's the last of them. Nice. Woo. Okay. And yeah, we're not doing too bad, guys. Not doing too bad at all. Eh. Alright, go through here. Looks like it. Hello, Chairman. Well, look who it is. I'll be damned. I was prepping the studio for our announcement. Uh -huh. And here you are as a bonus. Mm. And I see you've brought the kid along. Babysitters may be expensive, but they're worth it, you know. Yeah, yeah, keep talking, pal. I'll just keep thinking of a place to bury your body. Nice. Ah, uh, I knew I smelled monarch when you lot walked in. The stench of sulfur, depression, and desperate bravado is unmistakable. Man, you're a douche. Keep talking, and you'll be smelling iron. Ain't nobody so important I won't put a bullet in him. Damn right. When you go off and get yourself shot, try to avoid taking one to the face. I'll want it recognizable to show to my citizens. Uh... Chairman Rockwell, I presume. My word. You've correctly identified the most recognizable man in the colony. Remarkable. Ale. It's a wonder what Phineas saw in you. Then again, he's an insane person. Thankfully, he's our insane person now. A proper company man. What? Yeah. Yes, he is an extraordinarily obstinate fellow, isn't he? Fine, he isn't working for us per se. Semantics, he'll come around. But that's between us. As far as my adoring citizens will know, we've turned a dangerous crackpot into a working class man. It's a miracle. Oh, you're gonna die now. Yeah. Oh, yes, go on. Wake them up. Add more mouths to feed. That'll solve our starvation problems. I don't know what half baked plans that simpleton in a lab coat has been leading you through, but it's done. It's over. Let me ask you something, Captain. Have you at any point thought about not fucking up our entire society? Wow. Are you kidding me? We're out here trying to clean up your mess. Yeah. I'm making actual progress towards stabilization and recovery. You're just getting in the way. You know, I wouldn't have to if you'd be more cooperative about all this. Yeah. Oh, right. This coming from the psychopathic outlaw. Yes, I'll try to be more open-minded about your path of wanton dissent. We don't need your help. Ooh. Um, with your resources and some of the folks on the Hope, we could do a lot, yes. I'll admit, there's no shortage of talent and scientists <clears throat> and there. Look, I'm not an unreasonable man. Okay. If you manage to storm the castle, as it were, and make it out of here with Phineas alive... Oh, I can't mm -hmm. exactly afford more havoc than you've already caused. Fine. If you survive, you'll need someone to sell the rest of the board on your plan. Mm -hmm. Are you out of your mind? Rockwell's the biggest monster in Halcyon. You got any idea how many lives he's destroyed? How many people he's hurt? I do. I've had enough. What? You even think about cooperating with this... this animal? And you and I are finished. Whoa! 
Whoa, 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 okay, okay, your loyalty is worth more than Rockwell's subservice? You're damn right it is. Ugh, if you're gonna place more faith on this brat than the chairman of the fucking colony, then there's no hope for you. Go get yourself killed. Oh, jeez. I've got work to do. Oh, man, I, I hope I didn't make a bad decision there, but I don't want to kill my friend. I mean, I'm, have my friend leave. Oh, jeez. Kill him. I just, I just don't know though, you know what I'm saying? I just don't know. Whew. Oh crap! Go, come on guys, get up! You are getting shot. God dang it. Whew. Die! Thank you. Hey, give it. Give it. How? What the? Woo! Jesus. Come on, guys. Let's talk. As I kill you all. Oh. Oh, that was that was intense. Woo. Okay. So I can go here now. Man, this one massive place. Are you? Huh? I'm not. Oh. Take a breath now, folks. Once we're up there. I suspect we ain't gonna have time to stop shooting. Yeah, probably not. Hello? Captain, you have an uncanny talent for complicating my life. I'm sorry? You've disrupted the balance of power. You've upset the natural order of things. Okay. You've introduced uncertainty, and there is nothing I despise more than uncertainty. No, oh, I'm sorry. You have to live with it. It's over, Sophia. Stand down. I'm afraid I can't do that. I'm aware of your diplomatic talents, Captain. You have a gift for manipulation. But I warn you, I'm no easy mark. Oh. For all your talents, you are the enemy of Halcyon. And therefore, you are my... <clears throat> I'm here for Phineas. Let him go. Hmm. You make a nuanced and compelling argument. Here's my rebuttal. No. <laughs> Dr. Wells is being held in my custody. His cooperation will prove invaluable, even if I have to beat it out of him. Dang. All that's left to do is put down this riot, arrest you, and then get on with the bloody business of saving this colony. Let's talk about this. Fair enough. I'm giving you exactly one chance to parlay with me. Ooh. I can't persuade. Can't charm. I destroyed your experiments in the ministry. Your plans never going to work. Yes, I'm quite aware of your brazen act of corporate vandalism. By the way, those test subjects you killed, they died in agony. 
I'm sorry. My scientists assure me they can recover the data you've destroyed. You've succeeded in temporarily delaying our research. Nothing more. Hmm. Um. Your scientists are lying to you. Their research is critically flawed. That isn't true. It can't be. You're trying to manipulate me. No. That experiment was absolutely essential to the program. My scientists assured me they were close to a breakthrough. They gave me their word. Well, apparently they lied. You know I'm right. You can see it in your eyes. Damn you. You are telling the truth. <laughs> My scientists have been lying to me, and I was stupid enough to trust them at their word. We're going to have to start all over again. All that research, all those mm -hmm. experiments, you've sent us back decades. Yep. You were always an unknown variable. I tried to recruit you, but you threw your lot in with that madman, Phineas Wells. Who's behind you? Um, funny you should say that because the chairman was just telling me that's all your fault. Dang it, I can't lie. All right, let's this do this. Prison is equipped. I don't care. And don't work. Trying to do this peacefully, but apparently we can't do it. Can't lie. Can't make you give up. Just gonna have to kill you. Kill her! Yeah, I know. Oh, God. Yeah, of course I'm hurt. Being shot at. Yeah. Kill him. God dang it. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, kill him. Jesus. God, so many of these stupid things. God dang. Oh, oh I can't leave. Woo! God dang it. God dang. Woo, run, run. Run, 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 run. run. Run! Run! Oh god. goodness oh reload God, stupid robots Woo! oh thank god you guys got up kick him I got it yes oh my goodness oh Oh, we did it, guys. Oh, that was intense. All right, let's get in here. Oh, my goodness. That was, whoa, super intense.
Die, you witch! No one liked you! Um... Eh. There we go. You don't know how glad I am to see you. Oh, me too. You did the right thing. Akande was a monster. Her yeah. death was much deserved and long overdue. Well, good. And you, you lunatic, you broke into the board's own fortress just to rescue one doddering old man. You are absolutely out of your mind. And I can't begin to thank you enough. Oh, thank you. I thought you were going to be mean about it. Are you all right? What'd they do? I'm all right, thanks to you. Akande wanted my cooperation. I'm quite sure she would have beaten it out of me if you hadn't arrived. You've broken the board's stranglehold on this colony, and you saved my life. But there's still so much we have yet to accomplish. Really? You and I are going to have to work harder than ever to save Halcyon. I'm afraid the situation is far worse than any of us ever anticipated. What do you mean? I don't like the sound of that. Earth has gone dark. We haven't received a single message in three years. Oof. There's been no communication, no signals, nothing. You mean like Two doom? years ago, the Earth's Directorate's frigate disappeared on their way back to Earth. We don't know what they discovered when they arrived, or if they arrived at all. Hold on, Doc. Are you telling me the Earth went dark three years ago, and the board's just been covering this up? They've been incredibly effective at concealing the truth. Damn. Right now, the only people in the colony who know are standing in this room. So we've got to make do on our own. Seems to me that'll make us stronger in the end anyhow. You're quite right. We've got no choice but to make do on our own. Okay. We're in serious trouble, my friend. Do you know what this means for Halcyon? We no. can't rely on Earth for support anymore. We've been cut loose. We're entirely on our own. Dang. Uh, well, let's get started. Yes, we do. You've done a marvelous thing. You've succeeded where anyone else would have failed, including me. We must begin the revival process immediately, starting okay. with the hopes of brightest minds. And then we're going to fix this damn colony one problem at a time. We're going to need a leader, and mm -hmm. I can't imagine a better person for the job than you. Oh, you thank say, you. Old friend, will you help us? Somebody has to run this colony. I'm the only competent person left. You can count on me. I'll help you revive the other colonists. I'm going to do what I've always done. Whatever I want, all the time. Now you can count on me. I can't tell you how glad I am to hear that. When I revived you, I thought we were going to save this colony all by ourselves. But I was wrong. We can't save Halcyon on our own. We're all going to have to pull together, somehow. True that. We are not a colony anymore. Our last connection to Earth has been severed. I don't know if we'll survive, but we're going to have to try our best. Damn right. Lifetime employment program ruined. Chaos on Tartarus leaves board in disarray. Anarchists destroy our... Whoa, what? The OSI teaches that everything in the universe happens according to the grand plan. But the stranger that the arrived world was an unplanned variable. From the moment he landed in Emerald Vale, his actions altered the course of history. The events on Tartarus brought about the end of the board's authority. But the board's mistakes would haunt the colony for decades to come. The damage they left behind would require the work of a generation to repair. Mm -hmm. Dr. Phineas Wells began reviving a handful of the Hope's colonists. Engineers, scientists, technicians, and intellectuals. They were among the brightest minds the Earth had ever sent out into the stars. The Hope scientists and engineers woke up in a colony descending headlong into total collapse. With no way to return to Earth, they had no choice but to band together and devote themselves to the cause of saving Halcyon. The people of Halcyon were nothing if not hardy. In the absence of the board's authority, many of the colony's settlements banded together with a single purpose in mind. Survival. Nice. Life was especially hard in the years to come. 
Some towns dissolved by attrition and starvation. Uh -huh. But most of them found a way to carry on. Nice. In the years to come, Halcyon was forced to reckon with its newfound freedom. The board was gone, and for better or worse, the colony was responsible for its own destiny. Left unchecked, the Ooh. war on Monarch consumed both MSI and the Iconoclasts. And when the Sulphur Cloud settled, only stragglers from both factions remained. Some found their way to Sublight, some to Terra too, and some lived their final years fighting for food in the wilderness. Damn. In the end, only the beasts remained. <laughs> Sublight Salvage adapted to the changes in Halcyon, <laughs> shifting their business model to suit the times. Their claims of legitimacy were scrutinized, but ultimately unquestioned. Lilia Hagen would continue to protect her family as ruthlessly as ever. Adelaide McDevitt replaced Reed Thompson as the leader of Edgewater. She and her followers transformed Edgewater in their image. Anyone loyal to Reed was pressured into leaving town, and those who stayed behind adapted to her way of life. Adelaide transformed the old cannery into a new garden. The nearby Edgewater Cemetery provided a convenient source of fertilizer. He's good. As for Reed Thompson, it was said that he lasted exactly two days outside the walls of Edgewater. Oh, that sucks. Years later, a marauder was <coughs> found in possession of his hat. Under the leadership of June Lake Tennyson, the groundbreaker held <coughs> firm against corporate influence. The ship's mechanical stability gave June Lake the time to educate a promising generation of engineers in her family's traditions. The future of the Groundbreaker looks promising. The rediscovery of the hope and the abandonment of the lifetime employment program forced Byzantium to come to terms with some uncomfortable realities about the state of Halcyon. <laughs> While Byzantines were reluctant to surrender the luxuries they'd grown accustomed to, the board's diminished authority gave them little choice in the matter. Well, good. Nearly everyone had to learn to make do with less. Darn Some right. Even had to get jobs. No. It was a dark time indeed. <laughs> Life in Halcyon was sobering for Felix Melstone. The grand revolution he dreamed of never came. There was no great awakening for the colony, no celebrations in the streets. There was only the hard, desperate work of trying to repair a broken colony. Yeah. Felix never had a head for numbers, but if there was labor to be done, he was there to help. Good. Eventually, Felix realized that the work of a revolution was done with two hands. Once the matter with the Hope colonists was resolved, June Lay bashfully asked Parvati if she'd like to join her permanently on the Groundbreaker, and Parvati enthusiastically, if somewhat awkwardly, agreed. <laughs> the stories of her adventures spread across the colony, and Parvati soon found herself the center of attention. <laughs> Having served as the engineer of a renowned spacecraft, tramp freighters and wildcat miners sought her out by name. Oh, cool. And in no time, she was a fixture in the Groundbreaker's mechanical ecosystem. Right on. She and June Lei were never far apart. Nioka returned to Monarch to take another crack at making a permanent life for herself. She formed the Caron Group, a mercenary outfit of ragtag survivalists and wilderness experts. Cool. Anyone in need of a guide or just looking to throw back a beer and swap stories could find her camping on the trail or clearing an infestation. The SAM unit that accompanied you spread awareness of the product line's superior sanitation and maintenance capabilities across what was left of the colony. <coughs> this led to a boost in SAM unit sales. Nice! Did you know that SAM units are the longest lasting, toughest acting cleaning solution in Halcyon? I do now. Minister Clark was released from house arrest, and his contact with you gave him a sense of renewed purpose and vigor. Once it became clear that no help would be coming from Earth, he threw his considerable efforts and talents into helping Halcyon manage the crisis before it. Nice. As for Dr. Phineas Wells, he spent his remaining years in his orbital lab. Though he was always haunted by the failures of his past, he was determined to make things right 
by building toward the future. Dr. Wells was able to revive many more scientists and engineers than he first expected, thanks to the additional batch of chemicals you stole from the ministry. Good. Wells never forgot about the human lives that were lost in acquiring these chemicals. The revival project was hard and painful work. But in the end, despite limited resources, over half the Hope's colonists were successfully revived. Even after Wells passed away, the Hope scientists and engineers worked night and day to pull Halcyon from the brink of collapse. Their efforts continue to this day, Good. which may be reason enough for optimism. Dr. Wells laid the groundwork for the project to save the colony, but he would never live to see the fruits of his labor. He passed away a few years later, his work was carried on by the scientists and engineers he revived. Life will never be the same in Halcyon. It is widely agreed that the colony has a chance of stabilizing within a generation, owing to the hard work and determination of the surviving colonists. Good. Recovery is a distant goal, and the path is long and uncertain. But the people of Halcyon carry on, determined as ever. And what about you? The yeah. unplanned variable in the history of Halcyon. Yeah, what about me? Long after Wells passed away, you carried on his work with more energy, determination, and brilliance than he could ever muster. The years that followed were hard, but Halcyon survived by the efforts of the Hope's most promising colonists, the greatest of which was you. Yes. No one knows what's happened to Earth. And no one knows what the future has in store for Halcyon. All we know for certain is this. The name of the unreliable and that of, of the its intrepid captain. Captain will Jeff Goat. the subject of countless stories for years to come. Awesome. Well, guys, uh, I guess that's the end. I am honestly slightly disappointed. Um... This game was a lot shorter than I would have ever expected, and, um, you know. Oh, well, though. I mean, it, it was a very fun game. I will give it that. Um, I enjoyed it. I wish that it wasn't, uh, so short. Um, it could have had some more polishing. Could have been a little bit more open, and, um, you know. A little more variety but overall this was a fun game I do recommend it to anyone who's watched um, or just curious about it because there's infinite ways well not infinite but quite a few different ways you could do this obviously I could have done plenty of different things and a lot of things better but for my first time playing um, this is pretty cool and I will try doing it again obviously but um, that will be at a later time, but for now, I, I will, uh, be saying goodbye to you guys on this series. I, I, once again, hope you enjoyed it. Remember to please drop a like, uh, comment down below, tell me your thoughts on this series, and if you'd like to see more, or if, you know, you guys, uh, want to see other series, let me know, and be sure to also spread the word, tell your friends to come drop on by, check out the series and then play it for themselves and yeah that's all for now though guys i'm your host captain jeff goat and i'll see you in the stars peace out everybody